so let's get started go to photoshop go to file new we will create a new project file here its width is 9020 height is 1080 and resolution 72 pixels and background contents are transparent hit ok now as we know we need a character i am using this character so let's drag it basically this is a smart object so we will resize it to make it as large as you want now place it i think it looks perfect now here so now we will complete its background here and this side so let's start completing background so first of all we need to have right click and choose rasterize layer then go to rectangular marker tool by pressing m on your keyboard then select the layer you want to copy press ctrl plus j now press ctrl t and right click and press flip horizontal as you can see this is a white line coming up here so we will press left right arrow and we will be fix its size so now we will do it again press ctrl j ctrl t and rotate this flip horizontal and then we will move it to the right side now it look it seems perfect here so these steps we will repeat again press ctrl j ctrl t flip horizontal again again white line appears press right arrow and it will be fixed its size so now press shift and ctrl plus e to merge them in a single layer now press ctrl j and copy this press ctrl t and flip horizontal we'll get again a copy very nice now as you can see that it's showing some type of errors here now we will fix this okay so here we have completed one side of this image now we will complete this side select your original layer we will repeat these steps again Press Ctrl J, Ctrl T, very good, we have completed our background, press Ctrl E, now we will select and crop this character from the background, so we are going to choose our quick selection tool, press W on your keyboard press shift key and then we will select this character now to deselect this area press alt and give it a click again nice now we will select this we will select some hairs
okay so as you know we have selected this layer now go to refine edge we will our view mode is overlay the settings are as they are but we will choose the output to decontamine colors to amount 54 percent now we will erase this just move it around your character perfect now we will erase this side great now hit the output is on new layer so hit ok great now press ctrl j but don't need that we have a regional layer so we'll click on this layer and we will select all of these layers and then we press ctrl e to merge them all and then holding your control key click on your crop layer go to edit fill content awares hit ok it will process and take some time a uh, few seconds and now it's completed great now we will choose spot healing brush tool we will erase these dark edges great now go to filter blur motion blur angle is 0 degrees and distance is 2000 pixels hit ok now the background is very light and having no issues so we will pick and drag our character up here is our character so now now we will create a dispersion smoke effect here so let's get started create a copy of this layer go to good filter liquify and stretch it out Okay, we are done here. Hit OK. Now, we will create a layer mask on this layer. And press Ctrl I to invert this. Now go to the first layer. Give it a layer mask again. It will be white as it is. So, we will create a black brush. Press B. Choose a brush. I will choose a smoke brush very nice great now go to down layer choose different type of brushes 
I would like to use this brush choose a white and so cool again we will choose a different brush press F5 and click this arrow and press shift and rotate this to 90 degree hide this now great again choose another brush press F5 Again, select this and create this. Now, again, great. So we are done here so first we will set some areas of this layer press a select black color choose brush and go to your default brushes hardness should be 0% and the size should be smaller so, uh, to make a small or big selected selection of brush we will use parenthesis button on your keyboard Great. really nice we are about to done here okay so we are done here now we will add some other things to make this wallpaper more interesting we will select a more rectangular marker tool and we will drag it right behind its neck great now press alt and backspace sorry create a new layer press alt plus backspace press ctrl d to deselect go to effects go to blending options we will choose a inner shadow as you know there is no affected here so hit ok make this to layer styles to soft light go to effects in shadows and now we will choose the size of these it should be about 9% 9 pixels so hit ok now we will erase this area so go to eraser and delete this area here now we will again open this and choose stroke make it white the size should be one pixel and make it soft light really great we will add some text go to text and type your text I will choose this one one shoot productions size it up more size I think it needs more size great we will take it to the 
down of this layer now go to effects go to drop shadows the size should be 11 percent pixel sorry go to stroke the color should be white the size should be about I think it's better for pixels now we will go to inner glow the size should be again 11 pixels and we will select a color we will select a skinish type color I think it's now hit ok and again ok now we will give it some reflection so create a new layer here and press ctrl holding your control key and take it on your OSP layers layer and give it a click it will select this text and select your rectangular marker tool hold your alt key and give it a click it will be substitute this area from the selection now press ctrl plus backspace to fill it with background color press ctrl d to deselect the opacity should be 20 percent or you can increase i think it's 23 percent much better or 5 percent 25 percent opacity now choose another dispersion smoke effect uh, text so we will give it dispersion text okay so we have selected our text give it some new style so we will go to effects planning option then we will choose bevel and emboss depth 1000% and choose outer glow make it white and drop shadow size it up so we will increase its spread great hit ok now we will give it also reflection like this so we will create a new layer now we will give it a click by pressing your control key and press alt key and now now press ctrl plus backspace press d to deselect make it also 25 percent opacity so we are done here this is our final wallpaper Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.